So, I, um, I'm up here to talk about uh, back to school and some back to school things and Promotion Sunday. Um, so, if you work or, or live closely with children or teenagers, you know that the back to school time is uh, arguably one of the busiest times of year. Um, and so I've got a lot of announcements <laughs> about that time of year. So on August 6th, we will be celebrating those going back to school this fall. We will pray over our students, teachers, and anyone else who is returning to a connection with the school system. Um, and that it will be the first Sunday in August. So even though some of our students and uh, employees of the school board might be back at work and back at school by that point, we'll be celebrating on the first Sunday in August. Uh, we have a tradition of blessing bags that day too, so we invite everyone in the church to bring a bag to worship that day so that we can say a prayer over those bags and the things that we all carry with us. So another name for this time of celebration, this Back to School Sunday, is Promotion Sunday. Uh, and this is also the time in which our students will return to their Sunday school classes, which take a hiatus during June and July. So some of our students will be moving into new classrooms as well. Our kindergarten students will move into Miss Marilyn and Miss Sarah's class. The third and fourth grade students will move into Miss Natalie and Miss Beth's class. And sixth grade students will move into our youth Sunday school class, which has a rotation of different, lead different leaders for the fall, including myself and our youth intern, Gabe Guillory. Um, so we are the primary coordinators of that class with some other leaders coming in as well. Um, we will also have our Bible presentation on Promotion Sunday. So we will present Bibles to those entering kindergarten, third, sixth, and ninth grades. If you have not already done so, please reach out to me in person or via email, letting me know that a student close to you is entering one of these grade levels, and we'll be sure that we have a Bible to present to them on that day. And we look forward to celebrating this next stage of our students' lives with them. Um, our children and youth ministry will also be celebrating a new stage of its life. Uh, our ministry will debut a new area of our Sunday morning programming. We will have an upstairs cafe for our children and youth starting on August 6th. I put upstairs cafe in quotes just now because um, that name is like a working title. Um, I would love to have the students that, show, that are with us on Promotion Sunday vote on what we will eventually call the cafe more long term. Um, so we'll be debuting that August 6th and the the cafe will be open during coffee time and will serve primarily as a check-in point for our Sunday school classes, helping our students to get settled in and have a time of fellowship with one another before they separate into smaller Sunday school groups. Um, if you prefer for your student to spend fellowship time with you in the FLC during coffee time, that is totally okay as well. This is just an additional option that I think will be beneficial for building connections between the different classes. Um, and you know, some of our students have friends who are moving into a new Sunday school class and we wanna still keep those friendships alive and intact and that this is just a way to maintain that and help that transition be a little easier for some of our students. Um, we also want to offer our support to all children going back to school, not just our children at St. John's. And one way to make a difference is by joining opening doors in their school supply drive to help stock the classrooms of Wildwood Elementary, Charlie Thomas Head Start, and Gardeer Community Christian School in preparation for students who may show up to school without any of the necessary school supplies. The school supply drive will collect donations through Monday, August 7th, and we will extend a blessing over any donations we receive by the worship service on August 6th. Shopping lists for these donations can be found in the Narthex as well as in our weekly newsletters. And there are blue tub stations in the Narthex and in the hallway of the administration building and these where these donations are being collected. Another back to school activity we have for our sixth, entering sixth through 12th graders is Grub Sunday. It's also one of our traditions at St. John's, I've been told. Um, but if you think that our plans for back to school traditions are limited to Sunday morning, you would be wrong because that's where Grub Sunday comes in. We invite all students entering sixth through 12th grades to join us for this afternoon on August 6th from four to 6 p.m. for messy games, color wars, t-shirt dyeing, and mega ball. I won't elaborate too much on what Mega Ball entails, but just know it involves a lot of fun, a lot of cornstarch, a lot of shaving cream, and a very large kickball. 
The youth at University United Methodist will also be joining us for this event, and we've already collaborated with uh, university youth um, on other events, so we look forward to hosting them once again for this. If you can't tell, I'm pretty excited about all the festivities we have planned to shower our students and teachers and others with prayer and praise and fun on August 6th. And I am inviting all of you to join in this fun and excitement by wearing your favorite school's colors at worship on August 6th. This can be a school you currently attend, attended in the past, or a school you're just a really big fan of. So please join us in showing our support to all those returning to school this fall by wearing your favorite school's colors. Mm -hmm. 